Hello everyone and welcome to Taiji. I can do stuff already. Open up right here. Um, <laughs> uh, I guess it wants me to click on that. Press space. I did something. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, interesting. I can undo that. What on earth is happening there? It wants me to click on that, but I can only click on it when I'm standing on this. <laughs> Hold on, we'll talk about some other stuff in a second, but what is going on? I can then leave, I'm not do anything. So that's mean by activating this, I guess, and then clicking on that, then pressing space, and then that happens. Okay. <laughs> I can use WS and D to walk around all the arrow keys? Yes, indeed. Uh, is there like a run? Yes, okay, shift to run. All right. Anyway, <laughs> this is Tai Chi. Um, I'm sure people um, have been looking forward to this game. So have I. Uh, known about it for a few years now and very excited to see it's coming out. Um, I, I think there's no, it's not really any big secret that this is like heavily inspired by The Witness. Um, so the puzzles are kind of witnessy. The vibe is kind of witnessy. I'm, I'm kind of curious if like like knowing the witness very well will prime me to expect certain things in this game or if it like it takes very different directions in certain places um and therefore like sure the kind of the vibe the atmosphere might be similar but everything else might be quite different and the like the process of solving the puzzles might be quite different as well um in case anybody's wondering there is not a play a playthrough of the witness on my channel um, because I played The Witness before I started recording my playthroughs. Um, it's just... Well, but basically, The Witness is the game that kind of got me into playing lots of puzzle games. Uh, so uh, that was before I even thought about the idea of recording my playthroughs of them. Uh, and then it was only with Return of the Obra Dinn that I was like, okay, I'm going to start recording it because I... Like, at the time, I regretted the fact that I did not have a recording of my playthrough of The Witness um, just because there's so many cool moments in it and so many interesting things and I was sad that that's not a thing I might go and replay The Witness at some point um, but um, yeah sadly there is no playthrough of it on my channel uh, anyway <laughs> um, yeah I've been looking forward to seeing what this is going to be like um, the other thing, well, actually, there's multiple other things. The other thing is that uh, I have received this game for free uh, with a Steam key. Um, like, I, I don't like doing that, uh, and I would prefer not to. It's happened a couple of times recently, actually. Um, but now, basically, my my things in my life have changed. I have new, I have I have a new career, basically, <laughs> a new job, um, and with that territory comes free games <laughs> so i can't really avoid it and i'm just have to, gonna have to accept that i can't avoid it i'm just gonna have to tell people in advance that i i would have paid for this game had it not been had i not been in a situation where it just falls into my lap um the other thing uh related to that is that this is a slightly pre-release um version of the game uh this is version 8.27.2022.3 not sure what the version will be when it actually comes out. This is not far in advance of it coming out, but my understanding is there's like likely to be bug fixes and um, I think potentially some music might be added or changed at some point. Um, so it could be slightly different. I guess it's going to be interesting to see if it is slightly different, but otherwise um, this is like fairly close to release. There shouldn't be any huge things. But if there are any bugs, keep it in mind that this is pre-release. <laughs> And I will be reporting those books. Um, okay, so what else? Uh, oh, last thing uh, is that this is obviously going to be the kind of game that's quite a lot like... Um, like basically the kind of game that's going to have secrets and discoveries and insights and lots of aha moments. I can, like... Just by being inspired by The Witness, you can tell it's going to be something like that. And just from following the game's development a little bit over the years, I, I know it's that kind of game. So 
massive spoiler warning please don't watch the game until you've played it yourself because for me personally those kinds of discoveries are the main reason i play games like this um and i would hate to like take that away from somebody who can play this game themselves and have those discoveries for themselves um i may also hmm you know it's it's very likely that i'm going to talk about the witness to some degree during this and that also has a bunch of stuff that can easily be spoiled um some of my like probably my favorite like spoilable thing in a game is in the witness um so maybe it's best to go and play both of those games before (laughs) before watching me play this uh that's i guess what i'm going to say for now um if you're going to continue watching from now on it's your own fault uh i can run around (laughs) and i have this uh fairy that i can send around this is my navi or whatever from zelda uh, i was going to take a quick look at what else is in the options i noticed that because i paused the game briefly before starting recording notice that i can't use my mouse in the in the options which is, is which is always interesting in a game where there clearly are mouse controls anyway um settings yes graphics Limit frame rate, bloom quality, I'm sure it'll probably be fine. I'm not as bothered by bloom as some other people are. Um, well, I guess it's bloom quality, not whether to turn it off. High quality or faster, sure, whatever. Uh, controls, mouse sensitivity felt fine, which is odd. <laughs> Most games, when you start them, mouse sensitivity seems very, like, not fine. Swap sticks, that's for gamepad, I'm not using the gamepad. Uh, highlight guest puzzles. I thought this was interesting. Outline start tiles. Maybe I'll be able to tell because it's set to that by default, outline start tiles. So I guess other people have um, provided the puzzles for the game and they're shown in some way. (laughs) We'll have to see. Uh, Save slots. Sure. Okay. Change save slot. I do like the aesthetics of this menu. That's one thing I did appreciate when I started the game. (laughs) All right. Anyway, let's actually get going. Um, Okay, this uh, mountain has eyes. I wonder if we might be going inside. I do know there's like layers of depth to some of these places. So I could see us going in there. Um, I'm kind of curious. So I'm going to immediately start talking about things that are slight. I'll try and not be too specific, but slightly spoilery about The Witness. Like I'm kind of curious if there's an equivalent to the big secret thing in that. Um, which I might start, um, like, like I could see myself (laughs) kind of clicking around a lot, um, which might be risky. We'll see. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, It's interesting to think, like, I'm not quite sure the depth here, like that's going to connect to that. Is this like higher up maybe? I think with this pixel art, this it's very nice pixel art. I do like the way the grass is like moving in the wind. It's nice. Um, but with this pixel art, it's hard to tell what the depth is here. Also, I don't seem to have, I have a little bit of a shadow. Anyway, what's this? Do I fill it all in? Press space? No, so you're not happy with that. Oh, I see there's a thing up there. I probably copied that shape. Press space to commit my thing. Oh, we're connected to that bit. That's a surprise. Okie dokie. Yes, yeah, shift to run. Thank you. Huh. I wonder if we could have done something different we would have connected to that because I didn't see what that's going to connect to. Like, what happens if I do this? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Okay, sure. Or maybe this is just uh, to tease me and it just goes the opposite direction just to be surprising. Um, I'm noticing there's like a checkerboard color to like the place that I'm standing on, which is kind of similar to what I'm filling in. So this, is it that shape down there? Oh, I wonder if, hmm. No, I don't know. I'm just gonna do this. Okay, that brings that over. But there's a little connecty bit down here. And then this bridge is broke, so I'm going over the top. (laughs) And then these are black up here, so maybe I do the op. Oh, stand on this. Okay, so if you stand like right at the bottom of it, it looks like I'm standing on it, but it doesn't quite count. 
I'm gonna guess I'm gonna do this. Okay, feels good. I do wonder, uh, yeah, this, like some of this stuff is making me wonder if I'll be coming back here and doing something different later. Uh, so this, 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 this. Oh, a gate. Oh, I'm getting stuck behind the gate. What happens if I like drop off? I can't. Okay, can I click on the top of this? No. All right. Hmm. <clears throat> Very pretty game. Okay, I see this. I see a screen up here. I also see a screen down here. Which one is likely to relate to this? Well, this one isn't active yet. I can't stand that thing. So let's come around to this one. So I guess, can I drag? I can drag. That's nice. Commit, okay, so like that, that activated that one. I see something with the flowers here. Is this gonna be, is this, a sh a sh oh, oh, it is. It's the same shape. So I could just do that again. But look, the, the land that I'm on here has like an upside down L here and a right way around L here. So it's the same. So I could easily, oh, oh, it's not right. I guess that's white as well, even though it's like got a shadow over it. Is that what you're telling me? Is it like this? No. I mean, that's only like partially flowered, whereas this has got lots of flowers. Hmm. Well, there's clearly nothing else over there. And just doing the same thing didn't work, because that's the pattern I thought this was at first. I mean, maybe there's something ahead. Aha, there is. Okay. Maybe maybe this matching that is just for fun. Oh, wait, did the other stuff match it? Maybe the other stuff matched it. Does that match? That matches this. Okay, so each one is matching the little bit of land that's on. All right, I get it. So, but this, I want to go ahead and see what this is. All right. I see you. Uh, looks like this. Mm. Well, the corners are missing, which is kind of interesting. Oh, but then the, okay. So this is matching the land that it's on, but the two corners in the bottom left and the bottom right are also the grassy. <laughs> this is nice. Uh, okay, so it's the non-grassy that's white. No, it's the, Oh, did I do that the wrong way around? I did that the wrong way around. But I still think this won't work, right? That won't work because I need to do this and this. Yes, nice. Okay, this is cute. Uh, I see that that matches that. Is there a difference? There is a difference. That block is missing. That block is missing. And then the rest is the same. So this, 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 this. This, this, this. Ta-da! I think that, yeah, it accepted that, right? This is no cable. Okay, one thing to comment on is I love cables. <laughs> I love following cables between puzzles. <laughs> I think that just ends like that. I think that's just the end of that tutorial, I guess. It's telling me, look out for stuff in the environment. It's gonna matter. And how to interact with these things. Is this like a way I can go? Can I get onto this from here? I can stand out here. It's kind of curious. Huh. So we, do we have like four separate puzzles that are going to open this gate and I can tell which one's which based on, what does that mean? I can't change it. I kind of assume that's what that would mean. Oh, it does. It's just that one's filled in already. Okay. It's the dash line around the outside that means I can't change it. So this one has one filled in. So that's that one. Bottom left. <clears throat> this one has the top two filled in. So that's this one. Got it. This one has nothing. That one is the bottom right black. So it's going to be like this. And then this one is that one. Hooray. I can solve puzzles. That looks like a thing. <laughs> I'm going to be clicking on everything in this game. That's probably not going to be a thing. Uh, okay, this clearly connects to here. Maybe there's like a cave. Ooh, look at the water coming out. This is a very rusty shack over here. Guess we're heading this way. I also see the trees. 
Anything to note about the trees? I don't know. Aha, okay, central herb. I recognize this from some pictures. Like, I wonder if this building is gonna fill in and then we'll go in a door here or something. I see binary. So these probably are like the, the kind of puzzle symbols we'll encounter. Is this a set of stairs? No, it's like a pillar, okay. Again, the like the pixel arts depth is hard to judge. Or occasionally shadows, which help. Okay, so I probably have a choice of which way to go now, right? Over here to the left, I see trees all around, or up here, I see some potential puzzles. Hmm, where should we go? Should just go to the right. Feels like the least intuitive of the options to take which makes it the most fun. Am I going into this building? No. Maybe from this side? It looks like this is gonna open. Like, I do wonder how big this world is. Do I get a map at any point? There isn't one on the pause menu. Oh, I do love a world to explore. All right, this is like maybe the equivalent of the quarry <laughs> or something. It's not really quarry-ish. I guess this is going into a mine. Can I go into the mine? Oh, I can go into the mine. This is fun. Okay, but this is blocked up from this side. Is this, can I stand on these to start a puzzle? I guess if they were active, which they are not. Maybe they start down here somewhere. Are these solar panels? Or are they puzzles? Or are they both? They could very well be both. I don't see a way in here. Yeah, looks like this is not an entrance. It's this thing, a bunch of solar panels. There's a cable that winds around. I could see this being like the answer to something. It goes down there. Like the way that winds around makes it feel like I'm going to be drawing that shape on the grid somewhere. About down here. Okay, there's a puzzle. This very much feels like <laughs> the quarry in The Witness. Uh, oh. Uh, that looks complicated. Oh, middle click? What do you mean? Middle click. What's that doing? I don't know what that's doing. Wait, there's like glowiness on here? Oh, I'm like marking them. I see. I have a way of marking squares. The, the glow is very, very faint. Like I could easily not notice that. Okay. Got some Tetris shapes. Or poly, polyonymous, po poly, yeah, that's the word, right? Polyonymo. Can I get onto them? Am I going to be forming a bridge across there? That looks like some puzzles as well. Looks like maybe I could go in that building from there. I think right now I can't drop down any of this. Oh, that's a wall, okay. I thought that was a drop down. Uh, I don't see a way in here. I don't see any way to start interacting with stuff. This is all broken. I can't walk over here. I can't walk past this tree. All right. I guess we're coming back here in a different direction. That's going to open this from that side. Okay, well, <laughs> I've explored the top of that area. Maybe that's like the end of that area. Let's go up here. I see. Is that? That's high up, right? Maybe another thing I can't do. I see a, <laughs> a, a thing. <laughs> I'll say no more. However, okay, I see different things of different colors. Some of them have a bit sticking out, some of them don't. How am I gonna be applying that? Let's go up here. I'm like, it's, the game is making me walk past the budget areas that I cannot access yet. Oh, except I can go up here. Except these can't be solved yet. That's just steps. Is this a cave? This is a cave. I do like minecart tracks. Where am I going? Am I going anywhere? <laughs> I'm going to a gate that I cannot open. Where does this cable go? Nowhere. I guess it would reveal every direction I could go. It looks like there are no puzzles here. Lots of puzzles that I can't interact with yet. I am okay with that. Hey, 
it's <laughs> I've only just noticed it because it's like why am I like moving my ma my my hand so much to because my cursor gets left behind <laughs> because it does follow me eventually but I've been like catching my cursor up with my character a lot which is quite funny uh, where am I going let's go to this maybe is this this is maybe like directly above where we started oh no there's loads of stuff going on down here uh, this is directly above where we started so I've ended up going forwards this looks like a thing I can do. Dot. Okay. Two dots. Can I do them again? So that's also allowed. So I assume this is not. Okay, you're unhappy. <laughs> I recognize that way of communicating with me. Uh, okay, so it looks like maybe I've discovered something early. I can do this either way around. Because I suspect most people would only try one and think, oh, the rule is I don't hit the dots or I do hit the dots. Okay. Uh, what am I doing? <laughs> uh, so I do want to hit the dots. So this is fine as is. And will that make a bridge? No. Huh. Okay, then how else can this work? I can't change those. How else can this work? Or is there more to this rule? Okay, let's go back to this. What happens if it's like that? That's also allowed. You just need to have... You just need to be... Closed in? Okay, I'm gonna assume... That whatever you are, the adjacent ones have to be different. Maybe I could experiment more on the second one. Okay, let's use that as the working theory. That would mean this m might be allowed. Oh no, but this wasn't allowed, right? Oh, it was, but there's no way across. That's my issue. Um, so is this allowed? Yes. And things come out of the water, like the animation. Very nice. Uh, however, I need an actual path, so let's do this. Neat. I think that theory is working out. Let's continue with that as my working theory and we'll change it if it fails at any point. So do you need, okay, that's interesting. Do you need to be a different color to that? Therefore, these need to be like this. Let's, let's just keep going with that. So then it's gonna to have to be like this. That forces that one because that's, because I had to fill that one in. So therefore that one can't be filled in. And the rest of them around it have to be filled in. Uh, that means that's like that. I'm going to need a path at some point. So, it's, so I think that implies, yeah, because if you were filled in, these would be blank. So I wouldn't have a path. So instead, you're not going to be filled in. These are going to be filled in. I would still like a path. Those have to be blank. So I'm going around this way like this. You're not happy because of that. That makes sense. Uh, I messed up. I very much messed up. You have to be filled in. Therefore, that has to be blank. Unless that does have to be filled in. Then how am I getting across? That's accepted. <laughs> However, uh, not actually useful for me. Can I reset it? I can reset a puzzle. Okay, if I press R, it resets it. So you're fixed. That means those have to be blank. That, so that has to be blank. So these have to be filled in, assuming I've got the rule right. Those have to be filled in. That has to be filled in. That has to be blank. Therefore, if I'm going to be walking anywhere, that's going to be filled in, but so is that. Okay, there's more to this that I don't know. There's more to this that I don't know. What if I go over here? White dots, that's different, right? Black dots. Huh. That's accepted. That's accepted. Wait, okay, so these are adjacent to each other.
I expect that won't work. That will work. That won't work. If I do this, 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 that also works. However, clearly the rule isn't just uh, like the spaces around it need to be different. Is the rule something to do with like the region it's in? If I add that in, that's no longer allowed. If a dot's in a region, every cell in that region, where a region is either white or black, every cell must be the same, like either have a dot and not have a dot. Quite possibly. So that has no dots. Sorry, that has no, has no dot and it's also not filled in. So what would work here? Uh, I guess like would this, mm, would this work? Yes. This would not work because then that's in that region with them. I'm gonna, okay, that's my new working theory. So that's filled in by default. Those are not. So therefore that has to be closed off, right? Yes. This would be fine, right? Yes, that is fine. But this would not be fine. Okay, I that, I think that's the rule. Although that's what I thought before. Oh, apparently I did not solve that one. There we go. Okay, <clears throat> let's try this one again then. Uh, all right, so. Hmm. How best to approach this? So I need a path across. That means if I'm reaching the other side, it can't be that one that's filled in. It's gonna be that one. So the path is coming like this. You need to not have a friend next to you. Well, except you could be filled in, but then we'd have that problem. So we're gonna be going like this, for sure. We don't want that to be filled in because then you're in a region with these. So this is coming around. So I think I had this bit right, just kind of by accident. Um, and I'm going to need to walk to this, so we're going this way. It's interesting, so it's it's curious how the the need to be able to walk to a position affects the the solution. <laughs> like there's potentially like lots of solutions to this, but many of them don't let me walk across. It's kind of fascinating. Okay, so you, well you can't be connected to that, so this is coming around this way. And I don't want you to be connected to this whole thing. So you're going to be empty, so this is going to be filled like this. And this like this and that. By my rule I have so far, I think this is a solution. It's a solution. Hooray. I know what I'm doing, maybe. Okay, this is a thing I can walk on. Curious. This is a whole building. <laughs> a very large building that I can see inside from the outside. Probably because there's windows. That would make sense. Should we try and figure this thing out? That's like a starting thing, right? Can I draw on this without staying on that? No, I can't draw on it. Oh, 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 reset. Okay, so I stood on that and it's a position to draw on. And then those stand up. Whoa. Okay, it's telling me about reset now. Is that because I'm wrong or because it just tells me anyway? Oh, so I just, I just walk here. I don't draw. Oh, okay. Okay, so by the rule that I know so far, that means all of these are gonna have to be filled in. In fact, I'm just gonna have to walk this entire route, right? So I need to find a, a path that snakes like this, probably. Wait, can I just like walk across and... No, that, it's doing something weird. Yeah, it doesn't like this. Okay, but I can continue from where I was. Yes. That's neat. That feels nice. And this works out. Walk down here. Walk around here. Uh, 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 uh. Space. I think I solved it. Hooray. 
They seem to have accepted it. Hello, what are you? Two. What's the difference? Not allowed. Not allowed. Does the is it almost like the dot moves? So there's like one dot on here and one dot there. Oh, that's totally what it's gonna be. That's cool. What are you? What are you? Should we go inside? Let's go inside and see if we can apply what I just think I learnt. Oh, but it's walking ones. So I think this uh no, I think this. Cool. <laughs> Uh, am I going to be walking on, on them or not? Probably not. I'm going to be doing this, walking around here, doing that. Super nice. This is satisfying. Uh, the same. I can do exactly the same solution. They just moved position. That's fine. So what's effectively happening here is that because there's two dots in here, one of the dots is like moving to the other space. And so therefore I need that area to be two. Oh wait, there's a much better way of framing that. It's just the size, the number of dots in the area is the size of the area. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so here I would like to, at some point they're gonna join across, but I'm kind of necessarily splitting these two up. So I think right now I can stick to, oh, we're gonna do this. These two are gonna join like that. Okay, that's super cool. Then I'm going to have to walk around you to split some of this stuff off. So, I mean, but I could also be putting you in an area, but I'm obviously not because then there's no way I'd like, I need to keep walking. So therefore you're going to be in a big area, but then I'm not going to connect to enough stuff that I could make it like the area, the same size of the thing. I bet that's what happens over here though, or maybe on this next one. So start with you, walk around this way. We need you to be in a, a region of four. I see it, it's this, it's this. Neat. I do love like visual puzzles and how they, just like when the solution leaps out of you, there's such a satisfying feeling. Okay. Hmm. So you need four. Uh, this is gonna teach me that because like so far they've been like dominoes that I've laid out next to each other, like two and then two and the dots have been in them. But here, I think I'm going to do a thing like this, do two T-shapes. Yeah. So it doesn't matter that like one of the empty spaces is far away from the dots. It's, it still adds up to the right amount. That's cool. Okay. I suspect this is where we're going to be like walking onto this. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay. <laughs> cool. I know your tricks game. Uh, now we have colored dots. They can't be in the same region as each other. All right, all right. I understand your, your ways. We have colored flowers here as well. Is this a puzzle? That's a puzzle. <laughs> Is this a puzzle? <laughs> That's the name of this game. <laughs> uh, hello. It gives me a, a view of this, which is kind of interesting. However, I'm not at it, although I'm not sure how I would be at it since I can't go through the water. Huh. Very interesting. I think we should stop here. And I guess we'll continue this way. I don't really have a good reason to just like suddenly stop and go to a different area. So I think we'll continue forwards. Um, this is pretty cool. I'm curious to see like how all the different rules combine together in interesting ways and like what the different rules are in the other places as well. I'm sure, in fact, like maybe that puzzle, that giant puzzle I saw in the like quarry area thing, um, they had the dots on it but maybe also some other symbols. I remember some lines and like slashes. So that might have been an extra hard puzzle. I guess we'll see. Um, see you next time for more of the dots, but with different colors. See you then, goodbye.